Hey you. <laughs> hey you, welcome back to my men's grooming essential series. So like I mentioned in my other two hair videos, which I'll link in the description below, this video is part of three other videos where I talk about the best hairstyles for you based on your face shape and your hair type. So definitely be sure to watch those other videos as well because it will highly influence which hairstyle will work for you. All right, so I'm really excited because I have an awesome <laughs> guest. He's like scared. Hi. <laughs> He's like, calm down, ladies, calm down. No, no I, I am here. <laughs> so like the professionals I mentioned in my series intro videos, Kyle Krieger here is an incredible hairstylist and groomer <laughs> that you. I've worked with on many occasions. So Kyle, do you wanna? Yeah, hi, I'm Kyle. Um, so I'm Kyle, I'm a hairstylist and I'm also a creator. And we have worked together on yes. ad campaigns with our clients that we share, our yes. lovely clients that we share. And um, I have been doing hair for 10 years and I have worked in the salon, on shoots, yep. on red carpet stuff, and I love making videos about it too. So he has a YouTube channel that I love and I'm constantly watching. <laughs> Specifically, you. we were just talking about his Uncut series. I, it's so good, <laughs> you have to you. watch it. I'll link it in the description below for you all to check out. So yeah. I'm really excited because Today's topic mm -hmm. is about thinning hair or when you're starting to bald, mm -hmm. actually balding hair, as well as um, if your hairline's starting to recede. Mm -hmm. So I know these are very, I mean, this can seem very sensitive, mm -hmm. like a sensitive topic, but I wanted to talk to you and see, specifically, let's just talk about thinning hair. Okay. So you're starting to lose your hair. What is the best hairstyle for that type of man? Hmm. Um, well, first of all, I think that it's important to say that, yes, this is like a sensitive topic, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. I would say maybe 50% of my clients are thinning or losing yeah. their hair, right? And so you're not alone. And I realize that it's very frustrating and it sucks, right? There's no way around it. No. Um, but there is things that you can do to still have great hair. Depending on the hair type that you have, you could potentially have a range of styles. Um, you know, if you have straighter hair and you kind of want to hide a little bit up here, you could have a little bit of like a pompadour and a little bit longer like hair, that. maybe to like cover up um, a, a thinning spot back here or yep. something. Um, but if you have coarse curly hair, you maybe would want to keep it a little bit short because long is probably not an option for you. Um, also, in addition to that um, is, is hair blending products, mm -hmm. right? So you and I had spoke before about one called Topic. Yeah, hair fillers. Yeah. yeah, a hair filler also Bumble and Bumble makes one that's almost like a spray. Okay. Um, that you, these products can help supplement and help you um, disguise or, or, or blend um, your, the hair thinning process, right? To look more dense, to look like there's more there yes. than what there is. So for thinning hair, you're saying, Keep it a little shorter on the sides, a bit shorter, and then longer on top, just to help cover and maybe push it back, help cover up as much scalp as possible that's exposed. Yeah. And using hair fillers can really help mm -hmm. um, as well, just to add more density and disguise disguise your scalp so that it looks fuller mm -hmm. with um, with hair. Yeah, there's also over-the-counter drugs that you can get into as well. That's true. Right? There's Viviscal, there's mm -hmm. Rogaine, there's Niacin shampoo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, and propecia. then yeah, and then you can go to your dermatologist, and you can ask them about propecia, yeah. and see if you can get on that, and that can help keep what you have, maybe grow exactly. a little back, and kind of pause the process. So then I want to go into balding. So if a balding man, so whether the spot is smaller or mm -hmm. bigger, maybe we should just start with bigger, like a okay. big bald spot. Yeah. What do they do? I think if you're starting to lose your hair and you're balding, short is probably best. I wouldn't necessarily want to fight that. Like, you know, it, you know, you just maybe live in acceptance that this is where we're going. Mm -hmm. And I realize that I am privileged in a way that I don't necessarily have to think about that today. However, a lot of my clients do. And so I realize that it's not fun. And the, the one of the best ways that I've learned to help them um, it be less noticeable um, is to take some density out around the bald spot. Okay. Right? So like if you, some guys have really dense hair, but they're just balding right here. Yeah. Right? So it goes from like a very sharp contrast of full head of hair mm -hmm. to none. Right, so true. a way to make that more fluid is to take out some of the density with texturizing shears, with a different type of techniques that can like thin out the hair there. So it will be a more of a fluid transition rather than just like dark hair, 
bald spot. Totally right? makes sense. It's I like never less thought aggressive about that, yeah. when you look at the when you look at the when you look at the head. It seems less aggressive, and like the eye doesn't necessarily catch it as much. Now, what if the bald spot is just? It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's it's. There's no way to cover it. Right. It's just front and center. Uh -huh. At that point, what do you do? What I think is best um, if you have if you're balding is potentially to keep the hair short, right? To have a, sh a nice haircut where it can be like Jason Statham, right? Okay. Yep. So it can be super handsome. So just buzz and, it all off. You know, you don't necessarily have to buzz it, but keeping mm -hmm. it really short helps. You know. It helps disguise, it helps blend, it helps, you know, the, the haircut looks really handsome. Like, I like short hair. I, you know, you could use a razor and go all the way and take it all the way off, but I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. It's your personal preference. But I like whether to be a little bit of hair there. There's nothing worse than a guy that has a pretty bad bald spot and he's yeah. growing his hair so long trying to cover it and it's just like yeah and you just see it especially from the back of the head you see that bald spot <laughs> with little stragglers of hair trying to cover yeah. it up you don't want to be like a you know conservative politician <laughs> <laughs> with, well, no no one in particular <laughs> with bad hair but you know you don't want to necessarily yeah do that i feel like to keep it short it's nice and handsome and and in my opinion it looks best okay all right, so then let's attack receding hairline. So okay. if your hairline is starting to recede, what should you do? So it's not super severe. I think that there is, there definitely is ways to cut your hair mm -hmm. so that you could blend out the front, okay. right? So um, you could, you know, leave a little bit of length here if you're okay. wearing it forward. Yeah. And here you have to specifically cut the hair in a way that you have some length here, right? So that when it's falling over your, um, your high recession here, mm -hmm. that it blends it out and you can keep product in there to keep it in place. Okay. Right? If having length here is not something you're interested in, then you could potentially take like hair fillers for the front, right? Okay. So John Frieda, for example, makes like a shadow. Okay. Um, and it comes in like a little palette with a little like handle and you just kind of like brush it into your hairline. Got it. And the idea is that it, it adds color there so it looks more dense, mm -hmm. right? So you're blending out what you're what you're naturally losing okay and it just disguises it a little bit and happens to look more full so you could do two things okay yeah i think you could grow your hair out mm -hmm. and just put it slightly right? just grow it out a little push it maybe a little forward you mm -hmm. said but not too much because obviously yeah. if it's like receding significantly it's just you're drawing again right. attention away you could also do a side part, a side part. And, okay you know and, and it could lay over that area okay. it's totally fine okay. do you know what i mean which i think is nice too or you could have it shorter and you could have little pieces in there to blend it out or you could have the, you know, have like a little hair filler in there and just blend out that front line. Do a little hair hair filler in the right. front line so it appears more dense right there. Yeah, and you're just like slightly adding a shadow, okay. right? Like it's not necessarily, you're not, you know, putting on like a paste, okay. right? It's not like a shoe polish. <laughs> now, if you are, your hairline has completely receded slash you have a really bad bald spot on the back, mm -hmm. What do you like? Do you like a buzz look where it's still a little bit of hair, maybe one, two attachment, or completely shaved? I mean, I'm down for a bald head. You know what I mean? I have no- <laughs> Like the rock? <laughs> I, yeah, like it looks so handsome. I think it's more about like how you rock it, mm -hmm. right? So like, um, yeah, rock, I rock it. Um, the rock looks great with a bald head. Dwayne Johnson. Do you know what I mean? And then there's also, like we said, Jason Statham, yeah. people like that who I have really that. short hair. Yeah. It looks handsome and I like that it's not necessarily super perfect. And mm -hmm. I think it's about the confidence and way that you wear it not necessarily like what the length is, but I would steer away from a longer length. I'm sure eventually I'm gonna get there and it will be challenging to take my own advice because you're gonna want, cause hair is great and you wanna have hair and I get it. But I do think that there is a mount of acceptance that just comes with it. Like, look, I'm just gonna rock this style yeah. and it's gonna be wonderful yeah, as well. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta cut the BS and just embrace that your hair is just, it's it's going, it's going. So you gotta now just choose a right. hairstyle like up, how they're buzzing it or shaving it. I think it looks so yeah, sexy and so rugged and masculine. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get me there all worked up over here. <laughs> Maybe a little stubble on the face. Yeah, exactly. Work the facial <laughs> hair. You know, that is such a really good point too. Like if you are losing hair on your head, then not to necessarily overcompensate with a huge beard, mm -hmm. but have beautiful facial hair. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Like work with what you got. Like have a nice beard, yes, have a nice 100%. scruff. Yes. Like real you know, that looks so handsome, I think. Mm -hmm. To have no hair here and then to have a little bit going on here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Thank Kyle, you, yeah. for coming on and sharing all your wisdom and expertise. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, about thinning, balding, receding hairlines. There are options for you guys. I will link everything in my article, so be sure to check that out. And again, like I said at the top of the video, this is part of three other videos that where I talk about the best hairstyles for you based on your face shape and your hair type. Definitely be sure to watch those because it will influence which hairstyle you should go with. All right, if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, leave it in the comment section below for us to check out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I know. You got one for me. Woo! Okay, <laughs> thanks. All right, well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.